Okay, so here we're taking a look at balancing a redox reaction. And if you're balancing a redox reaction, you can't balance by inspection. You have to assign oxidation numbers because redox reactions all depend on an exchange of electrons. So we have to make sure those electrons exchange is the same and then balance accordingly. So to do this, we assign our oxidation numbers. Start with your fixed values. So like oxygen is always negative two, elements alone are zero. Hydrogen is always positive one unless directly bonded to a metal. And simple ions will have an oxidation number of the ion. Then you use um, the compounds either neutral or charged, and we wanna add to that charge. So for instance, this AS2O3, this is neutral. So when we look at our oxidation numbers, from the oxygen, you would have negative two, but each oxygen has negative two and there's three of them. So that's a total of negative six, and we need this to add to zero because there is no charge on this compound. So that means that AS has to share the charge of positive six so we can add to zero. So AS has to be positive three. On this side over here, oxygen would be negative eight, and all together, because there's four of them, so AS has to be positive five. Now that's just your beginning. Then what you have to do is take a look at what's changing. So for instance, chlorine is going from zero to negative one. So that's an exchange of one electron, but there's two atoms, so a total of two electrons. AS is going from positive three to positive five. So that's an exchange of two electrons, but there are two of them. So we're going to multiply that one by four, giving you a total of eight electrons. Now, again, our goal here is to balance. And to do that, this negative two and negative eight, to make them the same, we can multiply the chlorine by four to get negative eight or eight electrons. Um, but doing it here doesn't really do much. So we're going to put the floor, four in front of the chlorine. And then there would be a one here because we don't need to multiply that AS2O3 by anything. So there is a one there. Now that we've balanced based on the exchange of electrons, right? We're ensuring eight electrons being exchanged. Now you balance the rest by inspection. So I'll look at AS, I need a two here. Chlorine, I'll need an eight here. Um, sorry, with all the red, it's getting a little messy. Oxygen on the right hand side has um, eight of them. And on the left hand side, we have three from the AS2O3. So I will add one over here, it gives you four. Uh, what am I trying to say here? I think we need five here. So let's just see if that will work out. And then five times two is 10 and we'll need a 10 there. So if I'm starting to fill in my columns now, I have my coefficient five in front of water, AS2O3, I have a one, ASO4, I have a two, and chlorine is a zero. So that's how we balance. I know it gets a little bit messy, but always assign your oxidation numbers, see what's changing. If there is no change, then you can go straight to inspection. So this was an old diploma question. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you.